<laughs> First on the ATTG, you Poshikoni, Learn Albanian Online. You are watching Learn Albanian Online, and we are live now. Un chuhe melson, un jam nga Shqipria, dhe po prezentoj vetën time në Shqipë, kësa e rade. Sot, un do t'ju mësoj pak Shqipë, dhe do t'flasim për rasën kalzore, the accusative case. It's a bit complicated, but we do lots of exercises today. Uh, for those who have not watched the previous lesson, please watch that one first and then join this lesson because they are very related with each other. Um, we will start introducing ourselves. Kiri, Proshendetin, Nga ISIE, the person that you're on to Masor Shqip. Proshendetin, un chuhem Kiri, un ga America na Montana, un dua to Masor Shqip, sepse ma shoku e prefruar Shqip. Mir, Lenson, përshëndetje? Përshëndetje, Qukhen Lenson, unë janë në gata e vanni, unë janë një zetë gjashtë vjeqë, unë dua të mësoj shqipë, sepse dua të ufëtëtoj në shqipëri. Tu, Mir, kur? When? I don't know. You don't know yet, Mir. Yeah, maybe this, maybe this year. Okay, Mir. Matthew, përshën detje? Përshën detje. Unë jam Matt, unë nga Amerikë në New York. Unë po mësoj Shqipë, sepse unë mua me po qenë Shqipëri. Të përqenë Shqipëria, Shqipëri. Kur do të vishë në Shqipëri? When will you come here? Qërshor? Në qërshor? Ok, shumë mirë, në qërshor. Përshëndetje, Onur, si e nga je? Where are you from? Unë e quhem, Onur, e dhe unë jam Shqiptar, unë do atë mesoj Shqipë, sepse unë kam origin Shqiptar, ke e dhe se vitë kush unë jam, Maybe you can help me introduce myself in Albanian. <laughs> Perfect. I will teach you your, your accent is very correct and the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And I will teach you more words during the lesson, okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, hello, Tiffany. Hello. Yo, the world, the background is very, very beautiful. All yeah. those places. I hope <laughs> you can go to all of them. I hope so. <laughs> Përshëndetje nga je dhe përse dëshiron të mësoj Shqip? Përshëndetje, jam Tiffany, jam nga Fransa dhe dua të mësoj Shqip sepse jam i martuar me një qitar dhe dua të komunikoj më mirë me familjen e ti. Mime, shumë mirë. Ke plane, kur do të vishë në Shqipëria po nuk e di akoma? Nuk e di, ndo shta në verë. Ndo shta në verë, mirë. I will start screen sharing now. I just sent a link for the students who are present. For those who are not present, there are two viewers from YouTube. So if you want to join this video, this lesson right now, go to learnalbanianonline.net. The link is in the description below. Uh, go there and you can join the free lesson. There are three more empty seats. I will start screen sharing now for those who have not watched the previous lesson about the cumulative case. Please do, please do that one first and then join this lesson. Uh, because they are very related to each other. As you can see, there is a part two at the top. So watch part one first and then this one here. Um, okay, so each, each one of the colors at the very top uh, is one of you. We have one here now. I have no idea who is it, Leopard. Those are always funny. Mir. If you have any questions, feel free to interrupt me during the lesson. Today we are going to start with accusative case of nouns. If also the previous lesson was related to this one, but we did not talk at all about prepositions. So today we'll talk a lot about prepositions that require accusative case. Here are some of them, but there are many other prepositions. And we are going to do some exercises. Um, Slide number three, what is a noun? We have had said this during each lesson. A noun um, is a word that is used to identify a person, place, names, animals, ideas, etc. 
and the noun has a form, so indefinite or definite, has a case, one of these five cases. Today we'll talk about accusative. It has genders, masculine and feminine. In grammar, it also exists as a neutral gender. And the last one is number four. It has a number, so it can be found in singular and in plural. Each one of the cases that you see here, each one of them has an indefinite and a definite form. Each one of those cases has a singular and a plural number, feminine and masculine, of course. So today we are going to talk about accusative case of nouns, um, how to build it. We, we, I explained that in the previous lesson. Today we'll learn some prepositions that require accusative case. Mere accusative case, another name for it is the object case. The subject case is nominative and the object case is accusative. So it's the it's that noun in a sentence, but not only a noun, I will let you know later. It's a noun in a sentence that receives an action that the subject does. A simple example is the car hit the tree. Who did the action or what did the action? The car hit what? The tree. The tree is the accusative here. Today we, are, we will focus more on the prepositions that require this case. Slide number five, we'll start with a simple exercise. It summarizes the previous lesson, um, how to form accusative case. We have said that nominative indefinite is the same, so the same spelling as accusative indefinite. So what I will do those in yellow, I will copy it and I will put them right there. The spelling is the same, the usage is different. Now let's go to nominative definite. This is how they change. Uh, if you don't know how and why this change, go and check the previous lesson. Now I will ask, let me see, Kiri, the word, the word liber, how does it change into accusative definite? Mm -hmm. Very well, that is correct. It becomes librin, show me. So I'll write here one noun, librin. You add an N, what form to that one at the top? Onur, the next word is dial. How does it change to accusative? Well, can that, you please me? Once again, please. Okay, no problem here. So what Kerry did is took that noun there and added an N. That's all. Dialin. Dialin, that's correct. Dialin. Show me. Dialin. The next one is again Onur, Durusi. How does it change? Um, Durusin. Perfect, that's correct. Matthew, shoku in accusative definite, it becomes? Shokun. Shokun, that's correct. Onur again, krevati, which means bad, which changes to? Krevatin. That's yeah. correct, krevatin. Uh, Tiffany, krahu, the arm, changes to? Krahun. Krahun, correct. Zogu, Tiffany? Zogun. Zogun. Onur, ariu, which is the bear, the animal. Uh, go ahead. Mm, ariu. Ariun, that's correct. And Elsoni, Onur? Elsonin. That's correct. What about Onur? It changes to Onuri and then? Yes, Onurin. Onurin, that's correct, Shumir. So this is how this was just a review, how we built the accusative definite form of masculine nouns. These are masculine nouns. Do you have any questions so far? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next slide, number six, feminine nouns. Let, let's review this one also. Again, feminine, uh, so, so nouns, indefinite nominative is the same as indefinite accusative. I will paste it right there. The usage is different, the spelling is the same. Let's go to accusative. Definite, now we'll not take those nouns at the top anymore. We're, we will build it from this one on the right, on the left side, or that one at the top, they are the same spelling. So let's take the first one. Nielule is a flower. How do you say the flower? Lenson. And so, the, once again? Uh, uh, Lulen. Lulen, that's correct. So we, we don't add it from those at the top, but from these on the left side. Lulen. Uh, the next one, Onur. Motor. Motren, Motren. That's correct. Shumia, the, the first one was correct. Motren. What happened here? The R and the E umlaut has, have exchanged or they are reversed like that. Motren, to make it easy to pronounce. Mir, Stupi. Um, Tiffany, tell me the correct spelling. Stupin. Yep, and? 
with the N and E at the end? That's correct. So with the umlaut E at the end, the reason why this happens is because the word stopi ends in a long E, or the accent is right there. In, the, in such words, there are many others. In such words, you add an extra umlaut E, umlaut at the end. Uh, rug, it becomes onur. Rugen. Rugen, very well. Then we have Kiri, Kiran. Kiranan. Kiranan, that's correct. Um, let me see. Matthew, be careful, the pronunciation is Kala, not Kala. So? Kalan. Kalan, umlaut at the end. Oh. So the pronunciation is Kala and not Kala. Okay, and the last one is Ehan, uh, Tiffany. This is a day of the week. In grammar, there are nouns. What's the accusative? Tahanan. Once again? Tahanan. Tahanan, very correct. Tahanan. So days of the week are also nouns. They follow the same rule. Now, it has a linking article. That's a bit different about days of the week. But the ending with an N at the end, Tahanan. That's correct. So this was the accusative, how we build it. Now, we'll start with the prepositions. What are the prepositions and how do we use um, the, the prepositions in accusative and which one are them? So here is three the prepositions are usually used in front of nouns or pronouns and they show the relationship between the noun or pronoun with other words in the sentence. Um, prepositions that require accusative case, this is very important. I will write some of them here now. N. And then I'll let you know also the translation. So I'll fix the text. Okay, n. Then we have m, b, uh, me, uh, pa, uh, nun, which is under, um, n, per. Um, um, let me see, nun, b. Any other ones that you know? Sir? Per, perfect, very important per, Shumir. There are many other ones, but these are the most important ones. Shumir, the translation, uh, we'll have them in the next slide, each one of them. So, n, it means at, or to, or in, or inside, or on, um, that is n. It requires every single time accusative case. I'll let you know how to use that one. M might means on, but only, I'll let you know which in this situation, only on feet or by walking, M. B, Tiffany? Uh, on. On, that is very correct. Me, carry? With. With, that's very correct. Another translation is by, by, by walk, by, by car, by bicycle, etc. Pa, uh, Matthew, do you know what is pa? Um, without. That's correct without that is part none if any uh, under under very correct these are um prepositions not adverbs adverbs of location that's a different one these are prepositions so this is under as a preposition but under as an adverb is another one we say post that's a preposition mere so none is under nipper tiffany i don't know Per, 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 per example, um, I oppose it on per Chipri, through. Okay. So through Albania or all over Albania, through it's Naper. And the last one per is about or for. We will talk today about each one of these and we'll, make, we'll build sentences. Any questions so far? Yeah. Okay, there are some viewers from YouTube. If you want to join, the link is in the description box below or go to learnalbanonline.net. The link is there. Okay, let's start with each one of the prepositions. Slide number eight, or you can see my screen. We have the first three ones, per, me, and pa. We have also there the translations about for, me, which is with and by, and pa is without. And in this table, I chose some other nouns at the very first line is nominative, indefinite, and definite. And the second one is accusative, indefinite, and definite. Now we'll make some sentences how to use per, me, and pa. With these prepositions, you can use, so always accusative, first of all. Do not check nominative at all here. Only that one in yellow. You can use either definite or indefinite accusative. With these prepositions, you can use definite or indefinite. It's up to you. But if you continue with indefinite, the structure must be correct, the noun must be correct, etc. 
Um, I will write one example here. Un of class per paper. Uh, what does this mean, Tiffany? Uh, I'm talking about a um, book. Shumir. Now, I am talking, I will replace I with a name. Um, uh, let me see, El, El Sony, and I'll change the verb to Poflet. So we can have the, the subject also, which is more visible. Who is doing the action is El Sony. That is definite. It's only one El Sony. It's a person's name. So that is definite, nominative, right there. Here we have the name. That, does the, that person does the action, the action of speaking. Now we have a preposition. Here is a preposition per, which every time requires accusative. Now accusative, definite, indefinite, it's up to you. What form is it here, Carrie? Definite or indefinite? That's indefinite. That's indefinite. Can you change the whole sentence to definite? Go ahead. Poflet per librin. That's correct. El Sony poflet per librin. Very correct. El Sony is talking about the book. So from your liber right there to a specific book, librin right there. Do you have any questions, any of you? Uh, Alison, wouldn't you wouldn't put your name in definite? Uh, it is definite, El Sony. Not El Sony. Oh, okay, now that is the subject that is doing the action. We are up there, nominative. Oh. Right? So that person does the action, if, if the, and it is the subject. That must be nominative. And why not El Son? Because it's a specific person, it's, it's me, it's one person at the moment, so it's El Sony definite. Uh, so that one in blue, and this one, I'll put it in yellow, near liber, is from the accusative indefinite. Other questions? Okay, let's go to another sentence, similar one. Ne poflasim per um, durasin. Onur, is this, who is, what is accusative there? Which word? Durasin. Mm -hmm. Durusin or something like that. That's correct. Durusin, it's accusative. Now, my question is, Onur, is it Durusin, is it definite or indefinite? Well, I don't know. See from the <sighs> um, I think definite. That is definite, very correct. Now, first of all, Durus is a city. So with names of cities, use the definite almost always, unless there are two cities with the same name, okay? Mm -hmm. So with names of cities, also names of people, if you want to use them as accusative or any case, use them definite. So nepoflasim for durasin. Is it grammatically correct to put it in definite? I think yes. Yeah, that is correct. So. So grammatically is correct unless there are, so if there are many duras, I mean, uh, it is correct. But no. we use like 99% of time we use duras indefinite because it's a city's name, so use, you, you use the definite with them. Just like El Sony at the top, that is also definite. Mm -hmm. I got any it. Questions? So any I questions? could hear you very well. Okay. Do you, yeah. Do you have any questions, I mean? No, no. question. Yeah. Um, another example, um, Tiffany, how do you say in Albanian, are you talking about Duras? Uh, a poflet per Dursin. Shumir, correct. Let me write it here. A poflet, or more form formal, please. Me, per Dursin. That is very correct. Per Dursin, Shumir. Um, again, definite, because it's one city with that name. Okay, per durasin. Mir, another sentence. Tiffany, how do you say in Albanian, what do you know about duras? Mm. Uh. Huh? I know, you know. Far? Far edi per durasin. Why edi? Look at di. <laughs> okay, Mir, so far di. What do you know? Far di per durasin. Are. If anyone can type the C with a comma underneath and send it to the chat box, I would appreciate it a lot. Far dini or di per durasin. What do you know about duras? So again, durasin definitely one city with that name. Um, 
Tiffany, how do you know you should use accusative there? Uh, because we have uh, the preposition per. Perfect. Every time you see that preposition or any of those at the top in capital letters, you must use the, the accusative. Thing. Thank you, Lanson. Let me copy it. Okay. Here. Chfardin in Perdursin. Okay. Another sentence now with, with uh, me. Uh, I'll write one here. Arbeni. Okay. Thank you. Um, Arbeni Shkon. Shkon. Um, for example, mania shock. Matthew, what is nominative? What is accusative there? Um, in the action, uh huh. Go ahead. So, do you want me um, uh -huh. in the sen sentence as you have it written? Yeah, so what is the subject there? The what subject is, not is our Benny. To me, as that person is doing the action, that is nominative definite, it's a person's name. Now, at the very top, in capital letters, we have may, that's a preposition. May always requires accusative. So here we oh. have it. This means that many a shock is accusative. My oh. question is, is it definite or indefinite? Indefinite. That's correct. Can you change the whole sentence to definite? So, are Benny, Shkon, Neshkol, Me, Shokun? That's correct. Very well. Me shokun with the friend to me. So it's a definite verse, uh, uh, noun with the friend me shokun. You can put other words with, after it. Me shokun eti with his friends, etc. Me shokun is grammatically also very correct. Mir. Another sentence with me, which is super common. Uh, me, it's another translation. It's also by. So by car, by bicycle, by bus, by train, etc. Here is a sentence. Um, um, what case is the word tren carry? Um, tren, it's going to be maybe accusative uh -huh. um, indefinite. That's correct. Accusative indefinite. So he, he, he goes to work by train, not by the train. Grammatically, it's very correct to say me trainin. It's very correct, but it's, it's less, it's uh, rarely used, me trainin. So me train by train. And still, we would not put a nye here because it sounds, it sounds like, um, uh, like you are counting with one train or with a train. Okay? So me train by train. Metren. Or instead of metren, you can say me autobus. So the word autobus is accusative. How do you know it? You have the preposition me. Every time you have me, it's always accusative, no exception. Me. Metren, me autobus, me anie, ship or ferry, etc. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, okay. Kiri, how do you say in Albanian? I am, I am. So another translation of me is also to. I am, I am talking to you, to him, to her, etc. So Kiri, how do you say in Albanian? I am not talking to Elson. No. 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 Ing. Not to be. Un nu po. I always do that. Un nu po plus ma Elsoni. Elson in Shumi, Nuk Poflasma Elson. Literally, I'm not talking with Elson or I'm not talking to him, to Elson. So, again, definite form of my name because it's a person's name. If it's a person's name, it's a, if it's a profession, we typically use the definite form. Nuk Poflasma Nekun. I'm not talking with a doctor or to the doctor. Um, Here's another sentence with me. Poflasmenia shock theater. What does this mean? Let me see. Onur, do you know what this means? Yes. Go ahead. I'm, I'm talking with another friend. That's correct. Chogdoru. <laughs> That's very correct. Shumir. Poflasmenia shock theater. Who is doing the action there? We have an own way which is optional. Un is doing the action, and we have a preposition me every time accusative in a shock theater. And how do you say onur the whole sentence but definite now? Um, po, flas, go ahead without me anymore. Yes. Um, po, flas, me. 
Well, not in your shock, but shokun. That's correct. Un po flas me shokun theater. I am talking to the other friend, or I'm talking with the other friend. Definitely. Here. Um, meanwhile, if you have a notebook there or something to type, you can write your sentences, and at the end of the lesson, we can we can read and discuss about them. So using per, me, or pa, any sentence that you like. One more sentence with pa, because we have not mentioned uh, that one yet. Um, for example, ayo po meson, meson, um pran oh wait. i open the son pranjish me with 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 tiffanin with an uh at the end okay tiffany yeah i open the son pranjish me tiffanin how do you say the same sentence in french tiffany uh elle apprend le français avec tiffany that's great, Shumir. Okay, so may followed by a person's name, definite, because it's a person's name for so the definite form. Okay, do you have any questions so far? Anything? Yeah. Okay, so if it's a person's name or, or a nationality or a profession, use the definite form. It is more often used with a definite form. Um, Okay, let's, with, if you want to say by car, by bicycle, use it indefinite. Unless you can put it definite, of course, but indefinite is more used. Me tren, me autobus, me anie, etc. These were masculine nouns, except the last sentence that was feminine, me tifani. The rest, masculine. And anie is also feminine. Okay, let's go to the next slide, slide, slide number nine. Now we'll talk about some similar examples, but related to feminine nouns. Um, for example, Yali, e. so again, nominative at the top, accusative at the bottom, indefinite, definite. Notice how they change. Yali, e, vogel, po, luan, me, nye, vice. Matthew, what case is what? Um, Yali, e, vogel, po, luan, me, nye, vice. So the small girl, the, the little boy, is playing with a girl. So Diali is definite. What case? Um, definite uh, nominative. That's correct. And what is the other word? We have another noun, which is vice. What case is that? Neovise is indefinite. Uh-huh. What case? Um, so... A Accusative. How do you know it? Um, because it's not the subject. Um, it's very easy. Every time oh, it is because met, there's preposition me. Yes, yeah, because of prepositions. So if you see the preposition, every time it's accusative, then it's up to you, definite, indefinite. But it is accusative. The uh, Vogel Puluan many advice Matthew. The same sentence, definite. The little boy is playing with the girl. Yali Vogel Puluan me. Vizen. That's correct. Yali Vogel for one me Vizen. Um. Okay. Now this is definite noun, and it's a specific girl with the girl. Both are very correct to use. Um. Another sentence. Um. Motra po flat me suesen. There are some viewers from YouTube. If you want to join, go to learnalbanonline.net. Uh, you have information there how to join this lesson. Okay, motra poflet me musuesen. Onur, the word musuesen is definite or indefinite? Definite. And Lenson, can you make the same sentence indefinite? Motra poflet me nye musue. No, once again, me nye? Me nye musuesen. That's correct. That's very correct. The translation it is correct in grammar. It's less used than the definite one. The teacher, the sister is talking with a teacher or to, the, to a teacher in general. So um, let me see. Kiri, can you, make, can you make a sentence using per? With a feminine noun, definite indefinite, it's up to you. Okay. Um, um, okay, feminine. 
Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> Take your time. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. okay here's, uh, a here's a feminine noun, pun, which is work or job. Okay. Um. I'm talking about the job or the work. Okay. Um. So, like, I can say something like, um. Ooh. I left. Uh, um, I I went. No. Just give me a, like an English sentence. Okay. So I'm talking about the work or the okay. job. Un, um, un po, um, yes. uh, oh, okay. That's what you're saying. I understand now. Sorry. Okay. Un pa, um, her. Uh -huh. Now, definite or indefinite. It's up to you, but tell me the correct form. Okay. Un per nya pun. Perfect. Show me. Per nya. One second. Per nya pun. Correct. The translation. I'm talking about a job or a work or something to do. I'm talking about something. Now, definite, Kerry? Un po plus per punan. Per punan, very correct. Po plus per punan, I'm talking about the work. Or I'm okay. talking about the work you say in English. I'm talking about work, po plus per punan. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, questions? Okay. Here's the sentence with pa. Ayo, nu, mun, te, ye, toi, pa, granan. Uh, Tiffany, what's the translation? She can't live without Tirana? That's correct. She can't live. So she lo loves Tirana or likes it a lot. She cannot live without Tirana. Why definite of Tiran? Uh, because we have the preposition pa. And yeah, it's why, I mean, why, why definite? Not why, why accusative? Yeah, uh, because it's the city. It's the city. It's one Tirana, so it's a definite. I don't want to say pa Tirana or pa Shibrin or pa. Pa, pa weisen, pa, pa punen, pa most, motron, masuis, and any noun indefinite or indefinite. Pa Near. Um, and the prep, uh, another sentence with me. Um, I, I nuk shkon na pun me makin. What is this, Onur? Pune? On, arabas is shengit mior, which means. Oh. Root, clear. Uh -huh. Can you translate it by by one by maybe? Yes. So he, which is all, uh -huh. no, he no, the, no, yes. il, or not, shkoi to go, napun to work by car, me makin, arabala, 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 arabala. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mir. Any questions? Onur, Lenson, Matthew? No, Anything? I don't. Have Okay. Uh, that is all about these three prepositions. So if you have time, you can write some sentences and then we'll correct it at the end of the lesson and we'll talk about them. Now we'll go to slide number 10. We have four more prepositions. The first one is neper, uh, uh, and these are masculine nouns and then feminine. Neper, which means through a place or, or a space or a building, etc. N, which means to, at, or in, or many other translations of N, at a place, at a time, and also B, which means on, and N, which means under. Um, now we'll create some sentences with each one of these uh, prepositions. My question is for Matthew, what case do these prepositions follow? Um, what case do they follow? Uh -huh. Um... Well, you mean so every, the, every the time, word. Every time you see these prepositions, you should you should use what case? Um, definite. What uh, case? Not what one. Accusative. That's correct. Accusative. Definite, indefinite. Both of them. You can use both of them forms. Oh, uh, okay. So accusative. Accusative. Yep. Yeah, accusative. That's the lesson. Mir. Um, a sentence with nupper, which is very used. Nupper. So I. Po uzaton neper. We have Brazil there. Brazil is traveling through or or all over Brazil. Okay, neper neper is so here indefinite. Neper Brazil indefinite. I'll let you know in a bit why not why not definite 
and can I use definite? So this is one sentence with Nepper, I post on Nepper Brazil, Nepper Brazil. So we are talking about indefinite. Then I'll let you know with definite. Here's another sentence. Um, um, Aposhkon na, a noun in masculine, Aposhkon park. This means scary. Um, uh, sorry, which space? Uh huh. Okay, are you going to the park? That's very correct. Are you going to the park, Shumia? Here's another sentence. Um, um, ayo, ust, na, let me see, na, 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 I was not uh, Tiffany? Is she is in the shop. Sumir. So she is either at the store or the shop or to, etc. Some sentences with B and none. Libri, him, us, the um, divan. We have the word divan there. Be divan in yellow. Um, Kurse, in front of Kurse, you always need a linking article. Uh, sorry, a comma. Purse, Lulia, Ost, B, let me see here, B, Liber. So we are using only indefinite. Be careful, only indefinite at the moment. I will let you know how to use a definite. I post on Upper Brazil, Aposhkona Park, I Oshno Pun, Libri Mash B, Divan, Kurse, Lulia, B, Liber. My question is for Onur. Uh, yes. what, what case? Is the word kitab liber? Yeah. And how do you know it? What case? Not what form, definitely indefinite. What case? I guess indefinite. No, not what form. What case? Uh, pardon. And can you uh -huh. help me? Yeah, so it is indefinite. You are very correct because I chose the word right there, <laughs> liber. I didn't say libre. So you are correct. But my question is, is it that liber? at the top or this libra at the bottom? I think bottom. Bottom, Shumir, because B, B is that <laughs> preposition, it's a word, it's a preposition that you must always follow accusative. Okay? Yes, yeah, so right. you, know, you know it's accusative because you have B. How do you know it's indefinite? It's not librin. It is liber. That's why it is indefinite. Yeah, so uh, right. My next question. My next question is for Matthew. Matthew, what case is the word divan? And how do you know it? Divan is um, so libri in So it's a, um, mm -hmm. it is accusative. And how do you know it? Because it's following B. That's correct. Because just from the preposition, wherever you see it in a sentence, no matter who does the action or whatever, whenever you see B, it's always accusative. Is it definite or indefinite, Matthew? It, it is. Um, it is in, indefinite. That's correct, indefinite, because definite it becomes divanin. Oh. Here now, why with without nya here? You can put it. It's very correct, but you are emphasizing the book is on is on a couch. You are just emphasizing it more. So it is correct to use it. And even without it, it has the same meaning, but it doesn't emphasize so much without a couch. The same with book, be liber. Uh, what case is libri, uh, Kiri? Nominative. Nominative, that's correct. Okay, now, um, this were indefinite. Can we choose definite and how do we use them? So again, we will use the same case. Again, we'll use accusative. But we'll use it definite now. These sentences that we just created were indefinite. You can choose the definite form, but with one condition. Now, one second. Let me fix the text. One second. Uh, okay. Let's change the same sentences to the definite form. Now, let me write the whole sentence again. I call the ton per. Now, what is definite of Brazil, um, Tiffany? Brazilian. Brazilian. Is the sentence correct so far, Tiffany? I would say yes. Okay. The answer is no. Oh. Yes. So, Kerry, Matthew, any idea? Because, because huh? there's only one Brazil. Okay, but what about in the previous example? 
why indefinite if it's one Brazil? Here it's not about the if it's one and many, etc. Now, any ideas, any other ones? Why not the sentence is, is not correct or not full yet? Or any other idea? I owe the term huh? that per Brazilian. Huh? Um, so we use the definite form. Well, the previous one was indefinite. We are using the same preposition. It's the same case. It is definite, but it's not correct yet. It's not like the previous prepositions we learned with per, may, and pa. These are, this is something special about this. Maybe we have to be more specific about Brazil. That's correct. Brazil. Very well. You have to be more specific about the noun you're talking about. The noun we're talking about is Brazil. It is definite Brazilian. We have to be more specific. No, per Brazilian, a month, all through or among or through the big Brazil. Or a book or using an adjective. The adjective, I will explain it in another lesson, but the adjective, I'll let you know now, the adjective is always a. After It doesn't matter if Brazil is masculine. Always a. It is standard. Could you just explain again why the yeah. adjective is needed? Yeah. Yeah. So, in that, the previous example was Napur Brazil. Napur follows indefinite. Can I use the definite? You can use it, but with one condition. You have to be more specific by using an adjective. Is that specific to countries? No, for every single noun we'll talk now about. Oh. So you have, if you want to use a def, with these four prepositions and some other ones, but not ah. with four men, but with okay. these prepositions at the top, if you want to use the definite, you have to be more specific. So not only the noun definite, but more specific, continuing the sentence with an adjective or some, with some other words I will let you know now. Okay. Any other questions, Tiffany? Mm, no. Okay. Here is the second example, Aposhkonna Park. Are you going to the park? That's very correct. Can I use the definite? You can use it. Aposhkonna Park. Is it correct so far, Kerry? So far. <laughs> is, it, is it correct? <laughs> so far. So I think you're you're saying we should say Aposhkonna Parkun Bukur? Correct. So you have to continue the sentence. It's not correct, just like that, no parkun. Oh, bizarre. Okay. okay. If the park has, I don't know, maybe it's, it's not used, but if it has a number, do parks have a number? Park number 45, maybe? <laughs> okay, if it has, just put the number, but again, definite. So instead of an adjective, you can put a number. Or you can put another noun. This is called genitive case now. No parkun, a, two, a, it. This is called genitive. So as long as you put a word, either adjective or a number or another noun after it that is modifying our noun, parkun, then it's perfect, but you have to use one noun or adjective or number. And if you put the number, do you just put the number itself or do you have to use uh, a? No, we can't just no parkun disappears. That's all. Okay. Okay. But then, if you put the a, it changes to ordinal number, the forty-fifth park. Then you put the a. Okay. The parkun a does that a pace. That's the uh, correct one. Near another sentence with Ayosh Nedichan. She is at the store. Can I use a definite? You can, but with that condition. Ayo first. Na na duchanin na duchanin and then duchanin. A vogel, she's at the small one, or Nadichanin, uh, Nadichanin, a, a largest, the neighborhood's um, store, etc. I'll copy the same, or I'll make another sentence similar. Ayo, uh, na, rug. She's at the street or on the street. Now, um, can I use a definite? You can. Ayo, uh, na, Rugen, put a number, very common with it to put a number. No, Rugen, then the numbers yet. That's all. We start reading articles. But you are being more specific by putting a number. So it's not enough to put the noun definite. You need something extra. Now it is very definite, and that's the one you need. Ayosh, no, Rugen, Or the name of the street, but it must be Rugen. Here's another sentence. Flasim, no. Or yeah. talk to you at one. So no, it's a preposition at the top. It requires accusative. Check out definite or run. Why definite? We have a number. 
right? So this is this is why we have used definite there. Last in our Do you have any questions? Nope. Uh, the last sentence, Lenson. How do you say the very last sentence? How do you say my book is on the big couch, whereas the flower is on the beautiful book? Ribri im ashtam bi divanim. Divanin. Nim, divanin. Big, ah. right? Divanim. Mm -hmm. uh, Ebukur. Ebukur. Whereas, go ahead. Kulsa uh, lulia ashta mabi ribrin. Emal. Emal, Shumir. That's very correct. So, my book is on the beautiful couch or the pretty couch, the nice couch, whereas the flower is on the big book. That is very correct. So you have to be more specific about it. Mir, do you have any questions so far? Yo. Algunas preguntas para hablantes de español. Uh, any questions? Okay, Mir. The next slide, these were masculine nouns. Let's go to feminine. It's exactly the same rule with feminine nouns. If you want to be more specific, be more specific. So use more, more words to describe it. Um, okay, can you make a sentence? Tiffany? Um, un yam ne shtepi. Shumir, un yam ne shtepi. I'm at home. Can I use a definite? You can. Un yam ne shtepi. Pime, I'm at my house, my home. So I'm being more specific with two things, with an extra word that is that, that reminds that it is your house, but also with a definite Next part, the unyam no stepin time mir. Um, other question, other sentences. Let me see. Kiri, choose uh, any of the prepositions. Here you have some nouns. Okay. Uh, or I can put other nouns. Let's see here. Um, for example, matze. Um, matze. Okay, perfect. Matze. It's cat. So what is under or on the cat or in the cat uh, or through the cat? <laughs> How about matia ösht um, bi noun in feminine, something in feminine. Oh, sorry, uh, it's on uh, 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 hmm? Makin, on the car. Okay, Makin, yes. Makin, very common for cats to get on the car. Mir, <laughs> matia, and this means on the car, the very top of the car, not inside the car. So, Matia ösht bi makinan e kuche. Here's an, a color. So, you can use a color with it. Matia ösht bi makinan e kuche. Let me put the word makin here. We change it to makinan. Uh, Matthew, can you make a sentence? Uh, Pa. Uh, go ahead. Um, so, mesuese. Definite now. It's the subject. Mesuese yeah, at the top. Oh, okay, so mesuis ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, ust. He's at school. Ust. Um, ust na school. That's correct. Mesuis ya na school. How do you say the teacher is at the um? Modify the word school. That is mesuis. Mesuis ya ust na school. School and theater. Huh? That's correct. Perfect. No school and theater. Show me. The teacher is in the other school. There's no school and theater. Near. Um, another sentence. Let me see. Lanson, do you have a sentence or a Noor? Mm -hmm. Maybe with Tirana? Okay, with Tirana. Show me. At, in Tirana. Uh, or to travel through Tirana at that time. Maybe uh, El Sony put uh, Yeton na Tiran. Come here, yo. El Sony put Yeton na Tiran. El Sony is living in Tiran. Go ahead and make it definite, more specific. Uh, El Sony put Yeton na Tiran. Nun. Uh -huh. uh, Emad. Emad de. Emad. Tirana is feminine, so it changes to Emad. That is correct. Mir. Um, some other sentences I will write them uh, now is 
Ata Johan. Or no, you can think about the sentence. I'm giving you some time. Here, Ata Johan. Herod. Ata Johan. Herod. Na. Manjes. Um. The pass coin. Na. Pun. Tiffany. Can you translate it? Uh, they get up early in the morning and then they go to work. That's correct, Shumir. Here we have we are using the preposition ne. So they wake up, Johan, they wake up early in the morning. Ne manjes. Manjes and pun both are definite, right, Tiffany? Uh, wait, I can see. Uh huh. Oh, manjes and pun, both are definite, right? Uh, indefinite. Indefinite, that's correct. So both are indefinite. Um, okay, so no manjes, no drek, no dark, uh, those, uh, we use them without nya, first of all, without the, the linking word nya, or the linking article. Nya. Any questions so far? Yeah. Matthew, Lenson, Kerry, Tiffany? Yep. Okay. Uh, that was all about the preposition. Now we'll start with an exercise. There are some viewers from YouTube. If you want to join, go to learnalldayandonline.net uh, and then go to live lessons. We are right there. And we welcome you, right? Kerry and Lenson and others. Uh, okay. yeah. The first one at the top. We have some sentences here. We will start with um, Lenson. The first one. Okay. Uh, slide number 12. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Sia Ashta Nun Ta We have a full stop there, so we have a full stop. The sentence ends there. Go ahead now. Ta Ta Tavolin Tavolinan. Tavolinan, then I would not have put the full stop there. I would continue to. Ah. So Nun Tavolin, that's Nun Tavolin, yeah. Sorry. Mm. Correct. So in English, you do say the cat is under the table, but in Albanian, we use indefinite. You can use definite if you want to specify it more. Matja është nën tavolin. Let's specify it more. Lenson, go ahead. The cat is under the small table. Uh, Matja është nën uh, tavolin nën. Go ahead. Uh, e vogel. E vogel, that's correct. Come here. Number two, let's see Matthew. Cheni ist B divan ema or divanin ema. That's correct. Show me. Cheni ist B divanin ema. The same sentence indefinite Matthew. Cheni ist B divan. Show me. B divan, that's all. In English, you do say on the couch, the couch, definitely, but you know, they are indefinite. Number three. Um, Kerry Andal. Hello. Uh, Emma Emad Ushna uh, Parkun Evogo. Sumir Parkun Evogo. The whole sentence is that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, whole, the whole sentence is definite. Emma Emad Ushna Parkun. That's all. The park. The park. Okay. That's all. Yeah. So pronunciation, te, ma, e, ma, de, don't forget the vowels, or no part. Come here, the next one, um, Tiffany. Ayo nuk po udaton na per Chipri. That's correct, Shumir. So na per Chipri, why indefinite? We are not specifying it more. We have a full stop there. Uh, how do you say the same sentence in Chinese, Lenson? <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, ta. Look. Uh, ta bu. Uh, ta bu. Qu. Albania. Luxing. Okay. Perfect. Mia. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay. The next one. Uh, let me see. This is a bit different. A bit complicated. Matthew. Oh. Be careful, uh, we have a mix of cases. Have we learned Nga today? We didn't learn it, which means it's from the nominative case. Oh, um, so Albani Vien Ga Pun. No, 
So we, we are not saying from a work, from work. Ga, ga punan. Ga, not accusative. Puna. Ga puna. So if you say punan, it means accusative. It's not accusative. Ga, we didn't learn it today. So Albani Jenga puna. Me, by car. Go ahead, me. Me makinan. Me, ma me, me makinan is very correct. If it's but. a very specific car, so as a sentence is correct. Otherwise, just indefinite, just by car, not by the car. Oh. Or Makinan ma Pime? Makinan Pime, Shumir, with my car, that's correct. So it is correct. Also, you don't need to specify it more with other words, such as a Vogel or Pime, Mad, etc. That is correct, but you are saying with the car, by car, or by the car. So by car, you say me Makinan. Yeah. The next one we have uh, Tiffany. Go ahead. Me autobus, Correct, very well. So, te, it's another preposition we didn't learn today, so that requires nominative from the previous lessons. Check those out. Uh, the, the ones that we learned today was me, me autobus by bus and not by the bus. It is correct, of course, but it sounds weird or it's less used. Um, the next one is. Kiri, go ahead, be careful. I hope to let me SI. That's correct. I hope of let me masuesen SI. Can I put that indefinite, Kiri, masuese? Uh, no. No, because we have a SI, so we need a definite, masuesen yeah. SI. Shumia. Let's go to the next one. Kuposhkon, uh, uh, let me see. This is nominative. Um, Lenson, do you remember this one? Nominative? Kuposhkon, Toshkon, Tek, Tek, Elsoni. Elsoni, Shumir, so the definite form of my name. Tek is another one that requires nominative, not Elsoni. <clears throat> um, the last sentence, Nepodalim, for Tiffany. Nepodalim Bash per dark. Per dark, correct. Is it definite, indefinite, nominative, or any other case? It's indefinite. And? And uh, accusative. Accusative. How do you know it's accusative, Matthew? Um, hmm. Because of per? Because of per, every time you see that, it's accusative. How do you know it is not definite, Kiri? There's, uh, it's dark. It's got the E umlaut instead of... Um, that's correct. It's, it's, okay. Except of the N. That's very correct, Shumi. Because it doesn't have the N per darken. It is can, we also, can we also say per, uh, per darken here without an adjective at the end? That is very correct. For that per, for me and for pa, you can also use the definite form. But it is less used, you are saying, for the dinner. So grammatically, it's very correct. You don't need to modify it further like we did with na, na per, etc. So I have a question about that um, also. Tell me. Instead of using an adjective. Yeah, you can use. You can, can I say like, say the sentence is um, uh, mesues, mesuesin, um, pushed na shkola na tiran. Would that work? Now you are using two, two, two prepositions. Right? right, I'm With, saying rather than using an adjective to, to describe the noun, understand. You're, you're just... Yeah. Understand, you are, you are just, so, um, and then poshkon, you said, is going? Poshkon, na shkol, na tiran. Okay, na tiran. Now, these are just two adjectives, sorry, two prepositions, and both follow accusative, but you are not modifying the word shkol itself. You are just saying he's going in Tehran, he's going to school or to Tehran, to school, to Tehran. You are not modifying the word school itself. You need a word that modifies it directly, the word school, by an adjective or a number or or another noun. It's correct to say Nashkolan A and then without that one, Tehran, Tehran school. But not yeah. another adjective. When you put another adjective, you're just making the sentence longer and you need the accusative case because you use the N. Okay, Bellum and Dirt. Here, other questions? Has uh, any of you have written any words? Any sentences that you'd like to share? 
<laughs> no sentences. Okay. Mir, uh, I want from, let me see, from Kiri. What did you learn today? My brain is too full. <laughs> okay. Wow. Would you like um, to share anything? Uh -huh. you, I wrote, if you want to use the definite accusative, you have to add an adjective behind never, ne, be, and none. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, with those prepositions, that is correct. Okay. Okay. Can you show me your notebook? Okay. It's, it's a bit of a mess. But... Okay. I see. Okay. Near this lesson is recorded and it will be published for others who could not join the lesson. Uh, you can watch it anytime you want. Then the link will be in the description box below. The link to access that document that um, we talked about. The next lesson will be the first Sunday of March, so you are welcome to join. I have no idea what we'll talk about, but I will let you know in the following days. Okay. Uh, Onur, any questions? No, I don't have any question. Okay, perfect. Um, so, this was a lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Yes, sir. Yes. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you very much for joining, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Greetings from Albania. Mirror pop shin. Bye bye. Bye bye. Shin shin. Bye. Tschüss. <laughs>